Grizzly Bear versus Gorilla. Who would win the fight? Who is more aggressive? So stay tuned with us, and don't forget to subscribe to the Animal Comparison. So, let's begin. First, their appearance. A grizzly bear is a kind of brown bear. They are large in range in color from very light tan to dark brown. They have a dished face, short, rounded ears, and a large shoulder hump. The hump is where a mass of muscles attach to the bear's backbone and give the bear additional strength for digging. They have very long claws on their front feet that also give them the extra ability to dig after food and dig their dens. Grizzly bears weigh upward of 315 kilograms. The males are heavier than the females and can weigh about 200 to 300 kilograms. A large female can weigh between 110 and 160 kilograms in the lower 48 states. Whereas, gorillas are gentle giants and display many human-like behaviors and emotions, such as laughter and sadness. In fact, gorillas share 98.3% of their genetic code with humans, making them our closest cousins after chimpanzees and bonobos. The largest of the great apes, gorillas are stocky animals with broad chests and shoulders, human-like hands, and small eyes set into hairless faces. Adult males weigh an average of 140 kilograms and up to 230 kilograms. They stand up to six feet tall. Adult females weigh about 115 kilograms, stand up to 4.5 feet tall. Second, habitat. Western lowland gorillas are broadly distributed across the Congo Basin and are more or less continuously distributed across the countries of Gabon, Central Africa Republic, Cameroon, Angola, Equatorial Guinea, and Congo. Though present historically in the Democratic Republic of Congo, they are now likely extinct there. Western lowland gorilla ranges have been measured from 9 to 14 square miles, rarely overlapping other troops. Grizzly bears once roamed throughout the entire western United States south into Mexico, including the Great Plains and along rivers in desert habitats. A large population of grizzly bears lives inland in Alaska and northern Canada. Grizzly bears can be found in woodlands, forests, alpine meadows, and prairies. In many habitats, they prefer riparian areas along rivers and streams. Third, their fighting skills. Gorillas are gentle and try as much as possible to avoid conflicts. They beat their chests to express their strength and indicate that they should not be further destructed but rather be left in peace. They also bare their fangs and make sounds when they are frightened. Most gorillas beat their chests so hard and loudly while stamping their feet on the ground when they charge. This is often the initial stage of a gorilla fight. When you are close to these gorillas, and you notice such behavior, you are advised to stay calm to maintain peace. Silverback gorillas fight using teeth, hands, and legs. Their canine teeth are sharp that they easily penetrate in the flesh of another gorilla or any other animals being involved in the fight. To protect the group from intruders and enemies they fight when they come across another gorilla group. Gorillas of each group will express to each other their strength. And when they start fighting, they will use their teeth to injure the other which may lead to severe bleeding and death. They also fight enemies approaching their groups for protection. Whereas, grizzlies have very dexterous, yet powerful four to six inches thick claws. The prominent hump over the bear's shoulders supports some of the large scapular muscles operating their forelegs. Their omnivore's denticure includes three-inch fangs to kill large animals and a bite force of 1,200 PSI. Those are their great killing weapons. The vital parts of grizzlies are well protected against blunt force and puncture wounds. They have a layer of fat, thick fur, and muscle serving as armor. They are truly the tanks among big predators. Finally, with a large, powerful heart and lungs, the bear has good speed and great stamina, both for a relatively long loping chase and for fighting. The bear will fight bipedally in order to maximize the advantage of its strong, well-armed forelegs. Mostly, it tries to wrestle opponents into position for a deadly bite on the neck or lower on the spine. Their bite force has been said to be enough to crack a bowling ball. Fourth, their speed. Grizzly bears have a tendency to chase running animals 
And although it has been said that grizzly bears can run at 56 kilometers per hour, the maximum speed reliably recorded at Yellowstone is 48 kilometers per hour. In addition, they can climb trees. A silverback gorilla is an older male, so named because of the gray hairs that give his back a silver shimmer. Silverback gorillas move at up to 40 kilometers per hour. That's slightly faster than younger apes. An extremely fit and quick human can move at about the same pace as an average gorilla running speed. Fifth diet. Grizzly bears are omnivores. The most commonly eaten kinds of plants are fleshy roots, fruits, berries, grasses, and forbs. If grizzly bears are on the hunt, their prey can include fish, rodents, and hoofed animals like moose, elk, and deer. Grizzly bears can also target domestic animals, like cattle and sheep and cause economically important losses for some ranchers. Whereas, gorillas are mainly herbivores, and their diet mostly consists of bamboo, fruit, and leafy plants, though western lowland gorillas also eat small insects. Adult gorillas can eat up to 30 kilograms of food each day. Are gorillas aggressive? You don't want to be around an angry gorilla. That rule goes for any animal in the wild, as many rangers and wildlife experts will stress. In most situations, gorillas aren't genuinely aggressive. Most hostile behavior in gorillas occurs during territorial disputes between alpha males. That said, they are capable of turning violent when under threat. The sheer size and strength of gorillas can be a serious threat, and an attack can cause serious or even fatal injury. The best advice is to admire gorillas from a safe distance. Now, I think that you are smart enough to judge the real winner between these two creatures and also comment it below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Animal Comparisons. And if you like this video, then hit the like button. Meet you soon with another amazing video. Till then, goodbye.